What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Last time, we got introduced to our adventure. We know what our overall objectives are. We have to go find the talisman in each of the different worlds, find gems so we can unlock stuff with uh, money bags, and orbs for some undetermined reason. In this episode, we kind of ex already explored the, the uh, home world here for the time being. So let's go ahead and head on over to the next area, which seems to be Idle Springs. Magic doesn't seem to work that way. Spyro, the idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. Well, that's not good. So I guess we gotta destroy all the different tiki guys then. Uh, well, shouldn't be too hard. Oh, well, they have giant marshmallows. Oh, and They'll just break the locks for us. Okay. Well, that simplifies matters. Uh, oh, there's stuff down there. Uh, hold on a second. Right, sorry about that. My cat was being a bit, uh, noisy. Ooh, extra life. Okay, well, unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot we can do for this area right at the moment. I'm half tempted to just come back at a later point. Although... Hmm. Cause I don't. There is some stuff that's down there, but we need to be able to swim underwater, and we can't exactly do that at the moment. Okay, he's just gonna be an idiot. Uh, so in the meantime, what I'm just going to do is just. I'll keep going until I have enough. Actually, hmm. Yeah, because there's a lot of water here, so I'm definitely missing out on a lot of stuff. I guess it couldn't hurt to go through the level and then there's immediately come sheet. back. Are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. So yeah, I think it would probably be better if I just went through just kind of the general area first, since it seems to be a, like a linear path. And then once I get back, uh, I can just get the ability from money bags and just immediately come back. Because I think that would probably work best. And also get some, uh, I can get some gems here while I am making my way over to money bags. Okay. Plus it also helps with just getting all the overall gems in the area. There we go. Break that. Break that. Uh, break all these. I only need 15 more. And we're good. Okay. Perfect. Aim the camera left or right. Use the right stick. Yes, thank you, Zoe. <laughs> okay, shouldn't be too much longer to get through all this. Uh, in the meantime, just keep on going. I'm going to do that. That looks to be for something else. Don't see. See any other gems though? Let's go over here. Grab these. 
Sparrow, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Oh, cool. And that's the technical end of the level. Cool. All right, so we can get out of here then. Uh, there's definitely more stuff for us to explore, but first, let's go take a trip to Moneybags. <laughs> They don't seem like they're happy with, you know, sharing the campfire with the Tiki that was just trying to murder them. And he just wants to grill his hot dog, that's all. Alright, so we've at least got the talisman. Let's go ahead and talk to Moneybags. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Alright, 500 gems and we can swim underwater. Great! Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. Okay, seems simple enough. We can at least experiment down this way. Ah, trying to angle the camera a bit once you're underwater. Ah, uh, can be a little bit disorienting. Ah, uh, but we still have charge. We cannot fire underwater. We're not working with Mario physics here. Uh, we can really still look around this area a little bit. Yeah, there's another thing right here. Okay. Not entirely sure. I think that's where we ultimately need to go to progress. Uh, but we're not going to do that right at the moment. Uh, we've got area over here. Here, where we could dive down before. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so this is just all very shallow. Nothing to really worry about. Because I think it's all shallow. Yeah, I can't dive. Alright. Pretty sure I can dive down in this pool. Though. Yeah, I see some stuff down here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, get that, get that, and that. Dive down a bit more. There's still a red gem. There's also stuff down here. Um. Okay, seems simple enough. Thankfully, Sparks is kind of keeping me, keeping me pretty good on the gem front. Just getting things if I'm kind of loosely where I need to be. And hey! Got ourselves an orb. Orb that was right over here. Perfect. All right. So now that we've gotten most everything that we really need, we can head back on over here to Idle Springs. And we'll see what other stuff we can get. Okay, for some reason, the old cutscene was kind of came back. Uh, there's something over there, but go ahead and just spend some time underwater here. Ooh, fish. All oh, right. I don't think I can charge the fish. Um, I think there are, yeah, there's still a couple more gems here. Reorient the camera. Grab that. Still a couple gems over this way. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and see what's through this little cavern. Uh, lots of gems. Neat. And something over here. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. 
The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Okay, solve the three giant idol puzzles, turn all the blocks yellow. Okay, oh, it's this kind of puzzle. Yeah, okay, I know this kind of puzzle. And this one's actually really easy. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Okay, interesting. Um, interesting. So there's just a random chest here. I guess we'll need to come back and then we can claim what's in the chest. Okay. Uh, I guess other way. Kind of. Okay. Uh, so we got that taken care of. We do kind of need to go through everything else again. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Um... Get over. You know, I think I saw that we could get to a higher spot once we'd reached the end. So let's maybe go ahead, see what we can do about that. Um, okay, I can't dive. Go ahead and get rid of you, just in case I need to. Nothing over here. Go ahead and get you and you. You just kill everyone. Kill all the tiki men. He said by the pond. I think the pond was like right up ahead. Okay, we get rid of you. There's nothing else over here. Wait for you to open up the lock. So apparently, I can't charge that. Okay. Was it by the lake? Maybe it was by the beginning portion. This feels very puzzle-like. Oh well, whatever. So there's the end. Blah 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 blah. We already got that. You already collected this talisman. Yes, game. I am well aware of that. Um, looks like I can head on over this way, though. Okay, yeah, this is the higher area that I remember from before. Oh, boy. Little charge area. Oh, careful. Uh, you know what? Why don't we go and do this now? We've got other stuff that we can do. Apparently, I need to press triangle if I want to get out of my glide. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Okay. Just go through the stone pedestals. Got it. Shouldn't be too hard. First try! Look at that! The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle! Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of! Take this orb. It could help you go places. I'm not sure why I couldn't have just flamed the dude, but whatever. <laughs> And now to get all of the different gems along the way. Ow. Right, I guess I can't exactly knock over these things with a normal charge. That's why I need the supercharge in the first place. Okay, to get all the gems scattered, I think we're good? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. So we got all that. We got an orb for our troubles. Um... Okay, where do we go from here? Oh, I think we go over here. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up all these. Grab all these gems. 
Glide on over here. Ooh, some tens. Uh, I don't see anything down there. I think that was from the area earlier in the level. Let's go ahead, get over here. Grab these gems. The guy said it was by the lake. I think the lake was like at the beginning of the level. I didn't see him, but maybe I just overlooked it. There we go. Oh, there he is. At least I think that's him. I was scared that I screwed that up there for a second. Okay, uh, so the dude is right over here. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay. Flame fish to feed the idol. Doesn't sound too hard. Oh, okay. So it looks like blue and yellow fish are what he needs to eat. This feels very easy. Oh, red fish. Let's say watch what kind of fish. I'm guessing the red ones aren't what I need to feed him. Another red. Yellow. Blue. Sparks, get out of the way! Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Okay. Doesn't sound too difficult. He did say the colored stones, and we did see those before. So, I'll just skip on ahead to where we need to be. No sense kind of keeping in what's just Spyro supercharging. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Oh boy. Okay. Jump on the correct order. So middle is first. Uh, is there a pattern? Possibly. Green. Um, maybe the moon? Nope. Okay, so I guess there isn't really a good order to... It looks like the, it's probably the same order every time. Okay. Oh, wow. That worked out pretty well. See, I was kind of thinking, like, maybe the pattern would be for the next one, but I don't get where the green star and the orange square really come into play. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. The toolbox was a treasure chest? Alright. Well, that's another orb. Wait a minute, what the... Oh, cool! All orbs collected! Perfect! Alright, we're already making some pretty good progress. All the orbs in the area... How many... Uh, we are missing 38 gems. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so we're missing 38 gems. Let's maybe see if we can't try to knock that out. I think there might have been another area we could have explored kind of by the end of the level. So if we head back there, there should hopefully be something that will indicate gems. I don't know. I think we're pretty much there at this point. Ah! Alright, here we are. Yeah, I don't think we went up this way. So let's go up here. Okay. At least a couple gems. Um, hmm. Okay. Ooh, a yellow gem. That's pretty good. Doesn't seem to be any way to dive down. Uh, I'm missing 20. How am I missing 20? Uh, 
Uh, I don't know how I'm missing 20. I, I mean, 20 could easily just be two gems. Uh, there might be some, maybe in maybe the jumping patterns? Okay, well, I mean, it's worth checking, I guess. I'm very close to being at the end of this level, so I mean, if I could finish it, I mean, that'd be great. That'd be one level that I would never need to come back to. Okay, so there are the Hula Girls. There's nothing over here. What the? Flippant! Okay. Hmm. And I'm not seeing anything that's immediately obvious. If I get to the end here, then I think I might just want to... Uh... So that's where I was at before. That dropped me off there. Hmm. Am I missing 20 gems? Now I'm back over here. Top of the idol? Yeah, I can't make that. Okay. Um, hmm. Dodge rolls. I guess it's always possible that it could be underwater. Oh, okay. At least there's a couple that are underwater. Oh, that was it! Huh. I thought I was missing more than that, but alright, game, if you say I got all of them, then I got all of them. Huh. I don't get why it feels the need to redo the cutscenes. <laughs> Thankfully, I can just skip them by pressing triangle, so that's good. But with that, our first level has been 100%ed. Well, I mean, I guess we can head on over to Colossus. Oh, hello. Couple gems just hiding here. He's dead. A yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Okay, seems simple enough. A bunch of rams here, which are the enemies. Penguins! Which are sheep. Sheep equivalent. Okay. We're we'll doing good. We definitely need to just gather as many gems as possible because, you know, my bag is going to extort us for all we've got. I should be able to open this door for you. Voice activated doors. All right. Buffalo. Wait a minute. Apparently, monks love hockey! <laughs> These must be the Canadian monks. I don't think I can do anything with them. Yeah, no. <laughs> the statues actually kind of block my flames, actually. Weird seeing just penguins here. Like, I get it's supposed to be, like... 
Tibet? Sort of, I guess. But hockey and penguins. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Okay, so that raises up the Enemies platform. Like yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. I don't get why the game really feels the need to tutorialize stuff that I've already had. Ow. I've already had to learn prior to that point. Also, there are gems over here. Oh, there's gems down here, too. Huh. Okay. Yak up there. Penguin that I can get some more health back. Uh, sparks. There we go. Much better. Uh, 11? Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. So I guess we need 11 enemies to activate this. Currently defeated 7. So we just keep on going then. More gems along the way. And talking to more monks. Hey, look what I can do. You can look that up. Good for you. I can get an extra life, though. And it looks like some more gems, too. Okay, pretty good. Ah, okay, perfect. I don't have to talk to him every single time if I want this to activate. That's good. Go ahead, glide over here, charge. Spyro. There we go. Get that. Get some more gems. Remember Hunter's advice. You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump. Yes, yes, yes. I am well aware of that. Don't even think I really need the top of my jump to reach that. Okay, there's a ram. Or a goat. Yeah, I think that's just a goat. It's just a mountain goat. Uh, okay, so it looks like I need 11 for all of it. Kill one more goat. Hmm. Maybe further ahead. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. Yeah, what, what's the worst that could happen? I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Okay, I don't get what the Yeti had to do with dogs. Also, I kind of feel gypped. <laughs> okay. We can go out this way. And there's a frozen lake over here. Okay, so yeah. Spyro can kind of groove on it. I can't charge and I can't jump. I can fire, though. So we can just leisurely get our way to a couple more gems. And then we can go up here. Ooh, two orbs. Ah, Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Ah, yes. The most tranquil of all sports. Hockey. <laughs> sure. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. That doesn't sound too hard. Thanks, Zoe. Okay, so I guess... Ah! Okay, so grab the puck. Quite literally, I guess. And then shoot. Oh, come on! I swear, if he scored a goal on me, that would be kind of embarrassing. 
Alright. There we go. Just like any sort of soccer game that I know. You just gotta get... Yeah. Then not quite get the angle right on that. I'm gonna self-goal, aren't I? Guess not. Okay, but I am wasting a bit too much time on this. Kinda do that. Do that. Ooh! Okay! Or I could do that, just do straight ahead. I guess that works. Damn it, I am going to lose at this rate. Because I can't charge, this is as fast as I can go. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm definitely gonna lose at this rate if I don't hurry the heck up. Yeah, I think going straight ahead is probably the better option for me. So let's grab the puck, go back over this way. Kind of, yeah. He'll be right where I'm standing. He won't lead uh, the shot just where I am standing. Thankfully I can shoot it at an angle, so I can still salvage this. Thankfully, he's also really slow. Well done. Have this. And I get an orb. Would you like to try a game of one-on-one? -on -one? Sure. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. Oh man, we've got teams now. Okay. Thankfully, like ho regular hockey, you can beat the crap out of the other team and just do that. <laughs> and thankfully, there's no such thing as penalties. That is not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, thanks, goalie. There we go. We're doing fine, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. We're winning. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, no. You're not getting this. Well, he is going to help protect his friend. But I still got it. Always gotta flame the other player. Seems like the... The true hockey way. <laughs> ah, no, I don't want to. No, last thing I want to do is self goal. Interesting. Just basically trying to do backup for his teammate, but it didn't matter. Well done. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Pretty sure that's just going blind. Also, what did it mean, skill point acquired? Uh, options, no, guidebook, skill points. Oh, okay. Land on idol, so I guess there is some way to get to that. But it looks as though, unlock skill points to unlock parts one and two of the art gallery. Okay, so they look to be just like regular achievements. Uh, unless they actively go towards, uh, completion percentage, uh, I'm probably not gonna bother with that. Okay, well, we are starting to run a bit low on time. We're missing one orb, and we're missing a lot of gems. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, that... That looks like something that we can do. Okay... Uh, perhaps... Oh, that's right! We've got these opened up. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Just a mega jump. Okay. Not too bad, I guess. 
go up here. Where the Yeti was. Uh, we've got more stuff back here. Uh, doesn't... Oh! Thing I checked behind... Wait a minute. Yeah, I didn't think that one got counted. Darn it, Sparks, you're supposed to be on the lookout for that. Okay. Uh, looks like there's some gems over here. Thankfully, that didn't actually end up hurting me. They hit the yak from behind. Okay. All is well. All is fine. I missed. Hopefully, that isn't really necessary for anything. I hope not. I uh, can't do anything to get up there. Uh, oh! There's this over here. It almost just seems like a short... Wait a minute. This is a shortcut, but... Hmm. There's definitely stuff over there. Get up here, and then glide from up here. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Huh. I know I can make it up there. There is stuff over there. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Okay, a couple more gems over here. Uh, ooh, here's an orb. Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Oh, jeez. Why couldn't have this been at the beginning of the level? Thankfully, I'm not timed, so I guess that's good. No, that seems very much a pain. Oh. Okay, so... Yeah, they'll be... Ah, interesting. It's the monks with swords. And they will also look very greasy. Okay, I need... Ah, oh, no! Well, that's fine. Yeah, that's very interesting. Okay. Now I need to remember where all these things are. These two might have been the... First in the level? I don't think there was any back here. Uh, but it doesn't hurt to check. Ooh! Really doesn't hurt to check. I checked back here! How come up? Is I that unobservant? The answer is probably. Okay. So we've got five of them. There's quite a bit later on in the level. There was one in. Uh. One in the, that secret hockey area. Oh! One right there. Simplify some matters. Uh, hello. Oh! Oh, this is from earlier. Wait, wasn't there a statue in here? Yeah! Alright, we're at seven. Uh, so there's one in a cave. Um, th there might be two at the hockey rink. So why don't we... Okay, first to the cave, because that's right over here. And then the hockey rink. Let's see if there's any over here. Um... Actually, no, there's none at the hockey rink. What? <laughs> Why are there none at the hockey rink? Okay, well, that kind of complicates things. Oh, there's one right here. Perfect. And then... There's the last one. I might need to do a bit of backtracking to the level itself. Uh, in order to find it. It might be up higher... There was one down 
here. It's lowered. We can jump on this. So the statue up here. Then I think we're good. No, there isn't. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. I got another idea. Are there any... Oh! There's a rocket down here. And there's the last statue! Okay. We can head on over here. Hey! And that's all the gems, too! Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. Pretty sure that's just called stealing. But alright, that's another orb. All orbs collected. And 100% level complete. Neat! That means we can get out of here. killing themselves, aren't they? For being a bunch of monks, they sure know how to murder. Even if it's really more like manslaughter. Whatever. Get back to the hub. Alright, so that is two levels 100 percented. Uh, we still can't really do anything at the first level, uh, because we need to climb ladders for that, but we're making some pretty good progress. 100% in two different areas, and we're apparently halfway through the summer forest. So, we're gonna go ahead and call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Get back here, sheep! Um, we are going to continue pressing onwards. Ooh, extra life. It looks like there's stuff down over this way. Yeah. So there's a lot more to the summer forest uh, that we need to go through. But I think we're doing a pretty good job already. We're making very quick work with some of these early levels, which is pretty good. Pretty good. I'm even getting stuff that I didn't get to on the lost levels. I don't think I even 100%ed any of the levels the first go around. So the fact that I'm doing it now is actually pretty good. But we will go ahead and continue on in trying to get these talismans. Until next time, everyone. Take care. <laughs>